Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest V. All right, let's head into uh, Mastro Ferrato and automatically get a scene. So you know your charge. I want a strict night watch kept night and day. And if anything happens, don't hang about finishing your cappuccino before you report back to me. Capiche? Uh, what? What's that all about? Well, we'll figure it out. What do you reckon is going on here? He seemed a bit on edge, didn't he? Hey, you know the senor friend? He know it seems to be in a good mood, eh? Maybe you should you should ask him what is the matter. We never came here with Sancho when we were looking for you, Dad. Why not? You didn't go to the place where we got married? Welcome to Mastro Ferrato, ancient stronghold of the Briscoletti family. Mastro Ferrato, I'll have to remember that. It's a very attractive town, no, you know, think? See, Gotha should... It should look like these. Yeah, that means uh, taking the uh, city outside the uh, wall, so... Really, this is a town where you and Mum got married? How exciting! Anything down in the well? No. <laughs> Not at all. Well, well, young old, how are you? It seems like yesterday that you were getting married, you know. Good goddess, surely I'm not looking at your offspring, aren't I? Or surely I'm looking at your offspring, aren't I? You can't mistake those eyes. Haha, <laughs> do you think we really do look alike? I hope so. Hmm, these old senorita. Uh, senora, if she was there at your wedding, friend. I wish I had been there too. I am so, so jealous. Don't I look like, more like mom? Oh, that's a shame. Um, I don't know. I mean, kind of, yeah, actually. Is that you, old? You look even tougher than I remember. I gained a few levels. And you're a father now. Well done, my boy. Yes, congratulations, congratulations. I, I can't actually take any credit for how the kids turned out up till now. You know so many people, Dad. Well, that's because I talk to everyone when I go through the towns. Huh, well, Crispin's not around here. You have any new items? That looks like a no. No, surely not. It's it's old, isn't it? I had one face I could never forget, no matter how many years go by. I've wanted to murder you all. I mean, uh, um, um, it's so good to see you again. So have you seen Mr. Briscoletti already? He's been acting really strangely recently, and he looks terrible too. No, I have not. You know why he can no forget you, friend? It's because you are a good and honest man. We better go and see if we can help out, Dad. That's what friends are for. Well, you're not wrong. Well, let's see. I don't think there's anything there that I want. Welcome to the armor shop. How can I serve you? Wasn't your wife the one uh, doing the selling before? Dancer's costume, full plate armor, tortoise shell. Why can Sancho wear the tortoise shell? Cloak of evasion, silver tiara, and a top hat. So far, still the best uh, headgear for Kijigun and Sancho. You'll never guess what I found! There's a funny pot in a shrine to the west of Stock and Barrel that's glowing an eerie red color. When I told Mr. Briscoletti about it, he turned as white as a sheet and said something like, For the love of Linguini! I hope I haven't said something I shouldn't have. Oops. Is there nothing we could do to help out, Dad? It'd be a bit weird. It would be a bit weird seeing a jar glowing red all by itself like that. This is red, this is white, this conversation, he's chopping this way, and that more than the barber shop. <laughs> Anda, he's no time for laughing, eh? Uh, I don't know. 
When isn't it a good time for laughing? Okay, to be fair, when there's a bad, terrible tragedy. Although sometimes it can help. Did you know my husband was such a strong man? I had no idea. I fall in love with him all over again. No one knows a man better than his wife. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. These two, they must be very happy together. <laughs> I mean, you know, some people are different people around their spouses and their friends. It's not necessarily wrong. Oh. Well. It can't be, can it? It is you all. It feels like years and years since I last saw you. We're always talking about you, though. You made a big impression back then. Pretty sure my wife is still in love with you. Oh, yes, I should introduce you, shouldn't I? This is my wife, Nera. <laughs> I, I'm, I've met her. It's wonderful to see you again after all this time, old. How are you? It's really thanks to you that Crispin and I fell in love in the first place, you know. Pretty sure you two were in love with each other before. We're so happy together. Everything's just perfect, except... Except Nira's father, Mr. Briscoletti. He seems a bit off just recently. He's always on the edge. He never really... S he never seems to be able to relax anymore. Would you mind talking to him? I'm sure he'd open up to you. He always really liked you. Yes, would you mind? As a favor to us. Perhaps you could find out what it, what it is that's bothering him and maybe help him get over it. I suppose I can. So she's Nira? She's really pre pretty, isn't she? They sound like they really need her help, Dad. Nothing from you, Sancho? I am shocked. <laughs> like, genuinely shocked that Sancho had nothing to say. Huff, bow, 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 bow. I really like dogs. They never lie to you, for one thing. Dogs are really cool. Can I have a dog when we get back home to Gotha? Please, Dad? No. I'm allergic. Sorry. You can have a goldfish. Welcome to, to the Briscoletti residence. What a huge house. It's almost like a castle. Oh, you've come back to visit us. How wonderful it is to see you. Romana? How did I never notice your name was... The Time Lady. So this is where you ended up. The goddess has been watching over us all. But there is one thing you could help me with, Ald. My husband has been behaving very oddly ever since he spoke to a traveling merchant who came to town a few days ago. But he just won't tell me what's bothering him. I'm starting to worry about him. We're going to help these people out, right, Dad? Count me in. Anna, if he's something decent, you know, he, he can no tell he to his wife. Maybe he's a very big problem, no? I suppose it could be. <laughs> but first, let's go say hi to Deborah. Still up here, huh? Well, well, all isn't it? Pardon, you thought I'd be married by now because Nero's been a fool to accept that flake of a man? A husband would just get under my feet. Like you are at the moment, really. Do you mind? Dad, that lady's a bit scary. Is that woman your friend, Dad? I think she's probably the strangest one I've met so far. That's not very nice. <laughs> I mean, they kind of make it the, uh, the trope of, uh, you know, the domineering woman, but... Uh, to be perfectly honest, I mean, other than the fact that she's still living at home and doesn't have a job or anything like that, I mean, the fact that she's like, eh, I don't need a husband, is kind of refreshing in games like this. Holy rigatoni, old, you old scaramouche! I'm, I'm not the mooch. Sorry. When did you get back? N never mind. There'll be plenty of time for all that Bologna later. Right now, I need you to do me a favor. I can rely on you, I presume. Um, sure, totally. Yeah, I won't just ignore it and go off and do other things. There's a small island to the west of Stock and Barrel. 
That's the village just north of here. If, and if you... Are you listening? So anyway, on that small island to the west of Stock and Barrel, there's an equally small shrine. Inside the shrine is an old jar. That's all. Just one... Just that one small jar. I need you to go there and give me a bulletin on what color the jar is. I realize the request might sound a little cavalier, but it's really very important. And if the jar is red, don't waste any time getting back here, Capiche? You must hurry. I just hope this has all been some terrible misunderstanding. Sure, I'll totally do that. <laughs> Later. Please, Alt, sir, I, I couldn't help overhearing Mr. Briscoe Letty talking to himself before. He said something about a jar and that if it was glowing red, some monster or other would come back to life. He was standing by the bookshelf in the living room. It sounded like he was reading some old diary or the like. I'm worried he's in trouble, you see. You'll help him, though, won't you, Ald? I wonder what sort of monster it is. It must be pretty nasty for Mr. Briscoletti to be so wound up about it. You know wanna more about you know wanna know more about this old diary? Maybe he's wrong to read it before you ask permission, but he's know the time for manners now. Alright. You are reading my diary, the diary of Rodolfo Briscoletti. What I write here is of utmost importance. It must never be lost. Just a short time ago, I succeeded in sealing away a giant beast in a jar. A beast so gigantic, his head pierced the clouds and scratched the heavens. Left unchecked, he would have destroyed not only our village, but the entire world. But the seal will not last forever, perhaps 100 years, 150 and 150 at best. When the jar loses its sacred powers, it will begin to glow red, and when it does, the beast will be free once more. To my as yet unborn grandchildren and grandchildren's grandchildren. Good luck! You'll need it! Ha <laughs> ha! I'll be dead! I won't have to deal with it! Ha ha ha! Screw you! I've decided to make a bambino with my wife so that I can pass on this warning to the world that follows me. Yeah, I just decided to have a kid with his wife, right. And to those of my heirs unlucky enough to be born 150 years after myself, I pray for you, R. Briscoletti. Ald returns the diary to the bookshelf. I know Comprende everything, but I understand enough. Come, we must go. It must be an enormous jar if it's got a monster that big inside. A monster so big that its head reached the clouds? Do you think that's really possible? Nah. Okay. And you're saying the uh, same thing. Okay. <laughs> well, we won't worry about that right now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Is there anywhere else that we have not been to? Uh, we do need to go back to Gotha real fast. And that will allow us to get out to the ocean. Right, nope, nope. I don't need to I don't need to deal with monsters. I need to deal with uh Patty. Hey Patty. Uh, I'm gonna leave a party member. I am going to leave behind Tuppence real fast. Nope. Thank you. Alright, now if we go down here... Tuppence should be home. Yep. You were magnificent in battle, Your Majesty. It was an honor to see such a fine example of military expertise. I hope I added something to the party. Do remember, I'm always here at your beck and call if you need me again. was supposed to get... Do I already have it? Oh. I guess because I already have it. I thought maybe I lost it. I, I guess that's the way you can get the uh, monster chest set if you didn't get it earlier then. 
If you talk to him after being in a battle once, uh, he'll apparently give it to you. Um, but, uh... Come on, get back into the, uh, the party. Tuppence. Mostly here just to get levels. I really love Mon Monty the Monster Monitor. Any friend of Monsters is a friend of mine. Uncle Bertie got everyone together for your sake, Dad. Hey, friend, are you ready to leave yet? You know forget the medicinal herbs and the chimera wings, no? You know, East always a good idea to check your baggages one more time before you go. I'm pretty sure I don't actually need either of those, but, uh, thanks, Sancho? I guess I appreciate it. All right, uh, let's change the lineup. Get Gawain and uh, Percy back in the party so we do a little bit more damage. Murkings appear. All right, so we've got this uh, continent that we have not been to at all yet. Um, there's also an island to the south that we have not been to at all yet. Sancho's level increases to 22. 12 hit points. 3 MP. Uh, 5 strength. 4 luck. 1 agility and resilience. 0 wisdom. Tuppence's level increases to 14. Uh, 5 hit points. 3 strength. 1 agility, resilience, wisdom, and luck. 360 gold coins. Alright. Well, let's start uh, exploring it. Uh, I don't think there's anything on this little island that we couldn't get to before. Looking for anything obvious to uh, land at and look at. Kill the, uh, we'll give these scallops a walloping. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff around there. Okay, well, there's a bridge here. There's... Looks like some cliffs up here. Alright, a golem. Uh, let's take out the hoodlums first. And you can go after the tortoise ceratops. Ow! 42 damage! Golems are pretty good if we can recruit one. 945 experience points. Ellie's level increases to 14. 7 hit points, 5 MP. Uh, three strength, resilience, and wisdom. Two agility, zero luck. Ellie learns a new spell, Crackle. 243 gold coins. Alright, there is something down there, but we can't get down those cliffs from here, at least. Um, let to see if there's anything else around there. Not really. Uh, I can't go any uh, further down this waterway. So for now, we'll go up this way. More Merkings. Nameless's level increases to 15, 3 hit points, 4 MP. Uh, 3 strength, 2 agility, 1 resilience, wisdom, and luck. Learns a new spell, Safe Passage. Excellent. We got another person who can uh, cast that. Since we lost Bianca, who could cast it. There's a little shrine up here. Did not actually mean to leave. I didn't know. Didn't know I was so close to the edge. 
Uh, let's definitely go down the well first, see if there's anything interesting. There is not. Well, shucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't actually have my wagon there. I remember coming here before. I know this place. There's a scholar here who knows absolutely everything. You guys have been to some place that I haven't? I am... I am... incensed. What a seat of wisdom! Sancho acquires the seat of wisdom! What a TNT ticket! Sancho acquires the TNT ticket! Alt examines the treasure chest. What a diamond! Nameless acquires a diamond! What a mini medal! Nobody acquires a mini medal! All looks at the bookshelves. There don't seem to be any books of particular interest. Same thing. Same thing. Alright, let's double check make sure that I looked at this one properly. Yeah, alright. Meow. Hello, cat. Shall we play together again? The man who lives here knows all knows all there is to know. He's amazing. We stopped by here when they, we were trying to figure out how to turn you back out of stone. The scholar here recommended using Stolos' staff. He really knows what he's talking about. Where did you get Stolos' staff? And since it crumbled, what are we going to do about uh, Bianca when we find her? I see, old stick. Are you in the know? Um, yes? I see. Then I should say another word. You are still the, the same hot-headed kid, eh? If you no change these about yourself, friend, you're never gonna find what you are looking for. You should listen to this guy, Dad. He knows his stuff. No, I am not. Rumor has it that there is a helmet somewhere in the world known as a sun crown. Apparently it can keep you safe from kamikaze attacks, would you believe? This information is very useful, see? Muchas gracias, gracias again, senor. If you tell me we are coming here today, I prepare something as a gift. This senor, he help us muchos when we are looking for Stolos as a staff, you know. Rock bombs seem quite fond of using the kamikaze spell. It's really scary. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Um... I think there might be... Ah, I think I did miss something uh, further south that I should go check out. Uh, but before we do that... Let's get Percy and uh, Gawain back in the party. Let's go check out the... Uh, um, that southern uh, continent a bit. Some murkings appear. Oh no, prevented from casting spells when I have really powerful weapons that I don't... that can kill you anyway. Tuppence's level increases to 15 at 4 hit points. Uh, three strength, one agility, resilience, and luck, and two wisdom. 270 gold coins. Okay, well that is just surrounded by mountains. There is a tower in there. More wallop scallops. Son of a... Come back to me, Percy. Um, try snoozing it. And... You don't actually have... I thought you had Zing. Well, you can just full heal all then. 
Yay, Percy returned to life. Screw you, mollusk. Filthy beasts. Uh, let's just, uh... Heal all. I'm not in any real danger of running out of MP or anything like that, so... East is so easy traveling now. You are with us, friend. When you are a son, East more more small. He and his sister always they are getting away from me. All right, so it looks like this uh, little island is completely surrounded by um, mountains. So that's annoying. Okay, you know what? We're going after you first, because screw you. places that we have not uh, looked at up on the northern continent that we could never get to. So go check them out. I could use a uh, icicle dirk to do a uh, like a crackle spell or something. Might be a good idea in those larger groups. I don't know how much damage it'll really do. Not actually sure that there is anything here. Old men of the sea. These things can be annoying. We can recruit them. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, they have pretty good uh, spell selections there. Give decent experience points, too. Nameless's level increases to 16. 12 hit points, 4 MP. Uh, 2 strength and agility, 1 resilience and luck, and 4 wisdom. Learns a new spell, full heal. Very nice. Uh, Ellie's level increases to 15, uh, 7 hit points, 5 MP. Uh, 3 strength, 2 agility, 3 resilience, 4 wisdom, and 0 luck. 330 gold coins. Ellie gets some pretty good level ups. I don't know that there's anything here. Is there, are there any special monsters that we can encounter around here? Uh, Wickermen. These don't uh, seem to be special. I don't think. Got a bronze knife. Yay, a bronze knife. All right. Pollywaggles! Maybe I should have used the uh, ice school dirt. Don't you try to outfatten Sancho. You'll never succeed. Tuppence's level increases to 16. Uh, 10 hit points. 3 strength, 1 agility, 0 resilience, wisdom, and luck. 145 gold coins. Aha. Thought there might be something around. What is this? Ah, well. Isn't this familiar? No one is coming here no more, no? East, just a deserted ruin. Just the remains of what what he's once here before. 
Right, and I don't have uh, Nameless or Ellie with me. Let's, uh, let's get them back in the party so we can see what they have to say. Wow, so this is where the statue of you was sold? 20,000 gold coins. I'd never be able to afford you with the kind of pocket money I get. The 52,000 pocket money that we have right now? Dad, um, never mind. I was just thinking you looked a bit sad, that's all. Well, I mean, considering this is the last time I saw my wife, you know. Makes sense. <laughs> Alright, well, there's where we were uh, sold. And when we come back next time, we will do another circuit around the, uh, the continent that we have not uh, um, uh, visited yet. There, I believe there is a little thing that I can uh, get off and check out uh, on the southern part. And we'll take a look at that. And then um, see if we can get into that, uh, that big ravine area. Looked like there was a town down there. See you then, everyone.